this is not going to be a very long video at all. I just wanted to show a very quick look inside the Disneyland colouring book because I know that when I'm buying colouring books or, you know, activity books or anything like that, I kind of want to see what it looks like on the inside before I buy it. And what you can see of this on Amazon is very minimal. You can't really see too much of it. But this has just arrived and I have had a flick through it and I can confirm that it's actually really quite impressive. So I thought I might as well share it and then you maybe want to buy it for yourself. I think it was three or four pound. Um, as you can see, I'm not prepared for this. My nail varnish is peeling off and everything, but we'll ignore that fact. So the quality of the paper is very thick and the designs are largely, um, there's a lot of white space, uh, which I think is something that works well when you contrast it with this. Like I will endeavor to, color ev to color every single one of those video cameras in. A lot of the pictures incorporate Sensational Six, but they are also divided up into different kingdoms, different lands. Um, you have Sadness up there, of course, and recognisable rides as well. So you're basically being taken on a journey through Disneyland, with through the eyes of the Sensational Six and, well, Huey, Dewey and Louie. I think it's... Definitely something that can be a trip down memory lane. If you have been to one of the Disney parks, you can recognise some of these rides. Tomorrowland is obviously very iconic. And if you've never been to Disneyland, um, it's been a long time. It's been about seven years since I went. It's something that you can definitely focus on to inspire you and to keep you focused. I always wanted to go on that Dumbo ride. There is one at Disneyland Paris, but I didn't have time to go on it. It wasn't at the top of my list of priorities. Fantasyland there. And then we have, of course, Star Wars here, which I wasn't expecting. So that was a really nice surprise to see a Galaxy's Edge there. Uh, Huey, Dewey and Louie again. Critter Country. I will definitely colour in all of those trees. Frontierland. Haunted Mansion ride, which is one of my favourites. Absolutely love that one. Then we have Adventureland and of course we have Sleeping Beauty's Castle. That's utterly stunning, of course. And we have the train. And there we have the whole book. So I just thought I'd share a brief overview of what that looks like. My nails are absolutely horrendous. Um, because it is the kind of thing that I would be interested in seeing more. Because it was only £4, I was happy to take the plunge and buy it anyway and see what it was like but if it had been a bit more expensive I would have been a bit more hesitant because sometimes colouring books aren't exactly what you expect them to be but I think the Disneyland Park colouring book is you just got a good mixture of tiny little details and large white spaces because it's a theme park you can basically go nuts with the colour scheme you don't have to stick to anything I'm pretty confident that it's going to be a fun one to colour in but I thought I'd share this just in case you were considering it and hadn't quite made up your mind.